Hi. Uh, let me start by saying good job, everyone, on the discussion board so far. Um, I think as a class, you've done a good job at digging away at some of the unanswered questions that exist in this case. And, and that's what I really want to emphasize. Now, the case itself is actually based on an actual case that went to court. And although I've changed some of the details and left a few of the details out for the purpose of this discussion board, I went ahead and posted the court's opinion, a link to it at least, on the discussion board now. So if you're interested to see how it actually turned out, uh, you can go do that. The, um, obviously the main issue here is a due process issue. And in this case we're talking about when they've actually gotten to the point of wanting to terminate employment. And um, obviously that can happen for a variety of reasons, not just firing for cause, but also through downsizing, a variety of other ways in which uh, personnel are going to move from one place to another or move out of the school system. Uh, around Arkansas over the last several years, consolidation has been a major reason why teachers have either shuffled around a little bit or in some cases they've lost their jobs. So uh, getting back to this idea of digging at what's not there, so trying to ask appropriate questions. What else do I need to know to make a legal or an ethical decision here? And as you begin to chip away at that, you're also honing your skills at simply asking the question. So I want you to keep that in mind, not only moving forward for the rest of the semester, uh, but also going into the exam. Uh, as in the exam, in the cases I throw out to you in class, and obviously in real life, a big part of being an effective school leader and managing a school within the framework of the law is being able to know what you don't know. Um, and if you can't do that, at the very least, know that there's something that you don't know. And you need to bring other people uh, around the table. You need to ask appropriate questions. And the best way to do that is through um, a, a system, uh, a due process system, when it comes to personnel issues. Um, I raise that point because I think that oftentimes we think about due process as something that we put in place to protect uh, the employee uh, or maybe a student. Uh, the person who um, is being brought for disciplinary charges or might be getting uh, written up or, or eventually fired. Uh, but we don't always appreciate how important it is for us. The process itself slows us down and it requires us to begin to ask those types of questions and to give the person that we're dealing with directly and other people around the situation an opportunity to share more critical information for us. It's how we handle that situation better in the moment, and it's also how moving forward we learn how to identify problem situations better uh, as we become more experienced as leaders. So uh, I was very happy that that came out in this discussion board. It was a big part of, of what I was hoping that we would be able to get to. Uh, it's going to be a big part of what you're going to be doing for, for me next week. Um, as I said in class, the instructions uh, for um, the exam are already up on the webpage. They've been on the webpage since the very beginning of class. I encourage you to review those before you come in. If you have any questions leading up to the exam, I encourage you to post them on the discussion board. Um, mostly uh, technical questions, uh, obviously. Just uh, if I wasn't clear in class or you, you want some clarification about what it's going to look like, uh, I don't want you to be stressed about that. I, that's why I put the instructions up so early in the semester. I want you to be clear about how it's going to go, what your expectations are. As far as the substance of, of it, uh, we're going to be covering those issues that we've addressed up to this point in the semester. Um, not everything that's on the exam are things that we've specifically studied in class. You're going to have to take some basic tenets of, of legal theory and uh, leadership practice that we've learned in class and apply them into a brand new context. Not all the time, but, but at many points throughout the exam. So uh, good job on the discussion board. Um, feel free to continue posting if there are issues that come up or ideas that you want to share. And good luck uh, studying for the exam this week. I'm looking forward to it. Bye.